Hello, PlayStation Nation. It's Mr. Allen C. We're playing Madden 15 at Snowy Lambeau Field. It's the Green Bay Packers versus the Vikings. Enjoy. So now let's go to Green Bay, Wisconsin, where Jim and Phil have the call. Vikings, Packers, the snow is coming down here. What a setting it is as we prepare for today's game. Down on the sidelines, the man who won the most games in regular season action in Green Bay history with 15, head coach Mike McCarthy. On the other side, we have Mike Zimmer. To return the kick is Court Daryl Patterson, the former first-round pick now in his second year in the NFL. Tim Mustay ready to get this game started with the opening kickoff. They're setting up the return. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. The offense is led by a seventh round pick by the New England Patriots back in 2005 and has developed into quite a strong arm quarterback in this league, Matt Castle. Let's see, Matt Castle with the Minnesota Vikings. He's big, he's strong, he's tough, he has a good throwing arm, he's a leader on the football team. What is there not to like about Matt Castle? Oh no, who now first and ten. They're gonna run it right. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. And a player to watch on this offense will be Cordero Patterson. Patterson so fast, so strong, he can make dynamic plays. What they gotta do today for the Minnesota Vikings offense, find ways to get the football to Patterson. Second down here after that run play. Rudolph's shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Castle's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Clay Matthews at the pace of the quarterback. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. The Vikings doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. And he's going to be dumped. And that's a three and out. we got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take him down. It'll be Locke back to punt it away. Hyde's got it now. He's brought down at the 46. On to the field steps Aaron Rodgers. He played in only nine games a year ago, dealing with a broken collarbone injury, but he returned in time for a Week 17 must-win victory against the Bears that led them into the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers was not asked to move as much as he does here in the NFL when he was in college, so we didn't know he was this dynamic, this quick of foot, and, man, is he Relay dangerous clean. when he moves out of the pocket. Relay clean. First down at the 46. He'll go ground. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. As we look at the offensive lineup, Jordy Nelson on the outside has grown every year in this league since coming out of Kansas State back in 2008. Quarterbacks love wide receivers like Jordy Nelson. He can go up and fight for the football faster than everybody thinks. He's one of the good ones in the NFL. Rodgers from the shotgun. Throw to the left. Jordy Nelson with the grab. Nelson's one of the best route runners in the NFL, and he showed it that time on the quick slant. The football is right on target. 
Nice solid game, just short of the first down. Third and short following the completion. Hand off and straight ahead, Lacey. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. In the one here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. The Packers still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. First down here after the run. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Greenway is the one who brings him to the ground. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop before a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Again, they'll lean on it. And that's Robeson in on the stop. Now third and four following the run. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Coming up at the half, it's the Verizon Halftime Report. Third down and four, and Starks has got it on the handoff. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. That's going to be a timeout charge to the offense. Offense getting set now, following the timeout. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Almost intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. And here we have second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. And Rodgers will hand it off. He'll pick up seven this time. Now, looking at third down. Rodgers by himself in the backfield. From the shotgun. Makes the catch. Touchdown. by the quarterback that time put it right on the money not a big window it doesn't matter to him today great control of the football put it right in there for the touchdown the Packers for the extra point extra point was good The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Patterson's got a chance for a return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30.
First down on the way. Peterson's in the backfield. Single back set. The defense gets the sack. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. The defense comes out on the nickel. He'll fire it out to the left. Gets it out for the completion. Patterson's tackled right at the 35. The Vikings are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Third down on the way. Split backfield here. They'll go shotgun here. Complete the defense does his job forcing fourth down in a hurry. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. It'll be a touchback. The Packers offense ready now to see what it can do. Adams is lined up in the slot. First down at the 20. Nelson's got it and a first. The Packers call a timeout and are left now with only one. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The Vikings lined up in the nickel. And he's thrown to the ground. Good job with his safety getting that sack. I'll, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's showing us he can blitz two and get to the quarterback. Offense lines up here. The Packers from the 22. Looking to go deep. Pulls it in. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Packers call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. First down here after the completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Going deep. And Mutterl nearly picked off that throw. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pegs. The Packers have it at the 44. Down the field. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. The Packers have it at the 44. Looks to his left. Intercepted. In on the stop. So that's going to do it for the first half. Packers are up here in this one. You can catch the second half now. Don't forget, my favorite viewers, like, comment, and subscribe.